<laughs> oh, she's a beauty. No trolley jack. No problem. Number 69. Stop saying You know, an extra hand would be helpful, I'll be honest. No, no, no. Actually doing something. Oh. Find something original to say. Oh, oh. oh, wait, wait, wait. There is no coolant in there. <laughs> no, there is. Here we go. All right, now for the fun stuff. I want to take the tyre off um, to get to a pulley back there and there'll be a little marking <coughs> down here that we're going to line up with the zero there. So, go ahead and take the tyre off. If you see, I will uh, plug in my 19 mil to the pulley here. We're going to try and rotate it so that little mark hits the uh, zero there. Oh, there we go. First bloody try. See how that mark is just lined up with that zero there. Alright, now that our belt is off, uh, we'll be taking the cams off. We'll start from the inside and work our way out. Oh. They're nice and tough on there. Oh, so once you crack them, if you ever can. There we go. We'll do these two. And we'll start. Then we'll do over here. There you go. And then back in over here, then that one, and the same on that side. All right, this sprocket's off. This um, the tensioner pulley is off. Um, there's four 10 millimeter bolts in this cover plate here, or the back plate, sorry. 
and this little uh, doohickey here just slots into some holes like that one you can see right there behind the cover plate, uh, the back plate. So when I take it off, it'll just fall. It just fits into the holes there with its little back plate down there. That makes sense. And now it's lunchtime down at the school. Beach Boys. Nice. This has got to be the shittiest position on these. The, um, the intake manifold. Yeah. Uh, I think I've cracked it. Not yet. Uh, almost. Anyway, they are what the nuts look like. Now, little turds, I've cracked that one. Gotta get that one. And then there's two more on the other side of the intake. New gaskets. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's got everything. Very exciting. Well, because I went to Super Cheap yesterday, or Repco rather, to get, um, I just had the head box. Where did I put them? Oh, underneath. Oh. Get the head bolts. Yeah. And, and there they had only the, oh, it's got the rocker too. Rocker gasket. This is awesome. Yeah, and they had one with only the head gasket, and I was worried you were going to only get the head, head gasket one. No. But, oh, it's got everything. That's handy. Yeah, it is. Alright. I'll okay. have me doing the valve stems. If you'd like, okay. Yes, I would like. <sighs> Don't press the button, it's already recording. I know. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> this is the video. We are doing the valve stem seals things. Get your tool, valve stem uh, keeper installer replacement tool thing. This is the intake side. You chuck it over your... It's uh, a tutorial now, is it? Yeah. Over the thing. I'm not um, doing a very good job at filming. <laughs> Do you want to start again? Alright, so we grab our tool, we chuck it over the top of our stem, our valve stem. Make sure that you've got some cloth underneath, padded it, so when you hit it out, it doesn't hit the bench and break, obviously. Mm. This is our intake side, chuck it over there, make sure it's nice and flush with the valve itself, the top of the valve, give it a hit, and should come off, within a couple of hits, 
Well, it should just be one. If we, if we were any good at this, it should just be one <laughs> yeah, hit. it should be, but... You know. There we go. And it came off. And then we take our parts out. Take our two little seals out. Just use some needle nose. Take them out, keep them, don't get rid of them. <laughs> Maybe ah! Yeah, there, there you go. There we go. And then, then take your spring out. And then lift it up. And then from under the bottom, we'll be able to grab our, just push it from the top. Be able to get our valve. And then you've got your valve out. And now you can replace it. Just keep in, oh, keep in mind. These little, these ones, <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. These, these ones, these things, these are the valve stems that you're replacing. Notice these, they are the intakes. They look very similar, but there are differences in the intake and the exhaust. The intake, the metal, the metal uh, part um, wraps up around the top of the stem, whereas the exhaust, the plastic part wraps around the bottom of the metal part. So just very confusing, but just keep that in mind. That's a perfect way to put it, thank you, Lucas. Because the exhaust will take more heat and it's more durable. So very nice. Alright, one more thing, sorry about the phone quality, I don't have my camera with me right now, but um, they gave us injector, um, new injector bits, gaskets I guess, they're not really, they're just fittings, but um, get your gasket, clean it up a bit, a bit of brake cleaner, we'll be fine, and then we've got one fitting at the, the tip here where, the, where you actually get the spray, one at the back here, and then one little bit for where it connects to the the fuel the fuel rack. And that's just these ones. I don't know what this big one is yet. I'm yet to find out what that is. But you get eight in this pack. And I don't know what these two ones are. But uh, I'll figure that out later. But these two go one at the front, one at the back. And these small ones right at the bottom. You can get these off with a pick or with some needle nose pliers is what I'm using. Um, yeah, don't scratch them. Um, and just clean them with a bit of brake cleaner and then fit them again. Very easy. Alright. Oh, I just made that. Terrible. Hold on. Is that better? That's a bit better. Is that a rocket cover? Ooh, nice dirt. Alright. Head gasket time. How about a head gasket? I'm doing this one handed so it forgives me. I don't know if I'll be able to put the cylinder head on. I'll dry fit it every way to check that it's on. Should only go on one way, but we've got it right there, but just in case. Check, doesn't fit. So we had it the right way. Ooh, that looks good, doesn't it? That looks beautiful. Now we'll grab our head that I've got nice and flat. That's obviously the intake side. Oh. I won't actually record this bit because it's going to be too hard with one hand and I don't want to drop it. So, yeah. Now we are doing the, um, the head bolt tightenings. It's set at 36 foot pounds on the micrometer torque wrench. Uh, can't even and he's room. got we a. need a bigger extension. We do need a bigger extension. Well. No. That's all we got. Ah, oh, Both yeah, of them. Add off. Oh, <sighs> sorry. A bit dopey. Uh, yeah. I'm not very clever. Anyway. And then we'll hear the clicky boy. Is it on? It's on. <sighs> Is that right? <laughs> no, it's left.
Got him! <laughs> Wasn't saying that. Okay. I guess we should have tightened them on a bit more with the drill. It wasn't going on anymore. Oh well. Is it supposed to be clicking? Like I don't know. Oh. So, we're pretty stupid. <laughs> it was clicking because it wasn't going the right way. But that's fine. <laughs> don't worry. Remember, righty tighty, lefty loosey. Yeah. There we go. That's more like it. And we should just hear a clunk. Eventually. Yeah, maybe we should use the drill a bit more. Than that. Mmm. Oh. Do you want me to just use the drill? Yeah, maybe we should have just used All the drill. Right, third time. Right, so we're really stupid. It wasn't <laughs> even on the bolt. <laughs> I'm a bit short, so I can't quite tell, but anyway. Here we go. Oh, was that it? Yep. Nice. What's we did two? it. <laughs> number two. This is the sequence. We're getting it off. Oh, I'll delete that. American <laughs> dude. It's the one adjacent to that. So this one. Correct, Mondo. Now, you have to guide me because I can't see. It's... That's not on, is it? You might just have to wiggle it around. Oh, that's it. There okay. Wait! Did what? you lock... Did you lock yes, it? Yes, you did. Oh, did. I did. did get... Yes. Oh, good. <laughs> did it do it? Three. Oh. Yeah. I didn't even hear it. Three is the one to the right of number one. Oh, at the back here? Yeah, at the back. That's it. And then we have to... Was that, that it? No? Yep. Okay. Number four is to the left of number two. So yes, yes. This one? Correct. Very good. I do want to apologise, I have not been recording a lot because <clears throat> we've just been trying to get this done. This is about three weeks in the making just to change a head gasket, but I really kind of need this done. So recording has been a bit slack. But anyway, Aiden was over the other day. We've put our cams in. I don't know what we recorded on this. I think it was a real little bit. Uh, I think it was just actually talking these up. These are two, oh, it was like, I think it was 14 foot pounds or something like that. I'm not 100% sure. We've just put some gasket uh, sealant, some gasket maker here. Um, we had to line this cam up top dead center. I'm pretty sure that's top dead center. I hope it doesn't have to line up with that. But the thing was the lobes wouldn't let it go any more to the right or left um, than where it is now. We we chucked on our bearing caps uh, with a little bit of assembly grease just underneath it on the cam and beneath the cam um, connecting to the bottom of the uh, bearing caps here. We lined up our um, cam, cam gears here. You can see if it wants to focus that little white dot, that is... Um, actually you can see on this side too, it hasn't got the white dot on there, which I just used some white out, but that little uh, dot in there, I'll do a little arrow or something pointing to it or zoom in or whatever. Um, they are, I'm pretty sure that's how it's meant to line up. This is the first time doing it, but watching other videos and forums and stuff, that is what it says to do. Line it up. I feel like it's, they're both meant to meet up a little bit higher, but I hope that's, that's good. And then these two marks up here, which you can't really see, there's one just there and one over here somewhere are the assembly marks. So you, you match up the two bottom marks, they're the timing marks, and up here 
there's one just beneath my finger is the assembly mark so we don't have to worry about them but anyways i'm putting the back plate up now which just watching an old video which i recorded which i'm happy i did um we use i think it was four 10 mil 10 mil um nuts and then we just slot these in using these little this little stud here um so yeah i'll get on to that all right so the back plate on this thing on these two line up um that is from the last person that did it this is my little gold mark from the timing belt i didn't mark on the back plate i'm just about to put the timing belt back on but it is in line with that little top notch in there so i'm hoping that that's right this here is in line goes up is in line with that so hopefully that's right anyway video for educational purposes for future it's all gonna it's gonna get over here i reckon that's fine mm -mm. that's sex I don't know if I'm doing a very good job with this. No, that's good. Hold the thing. Oh. See you now. Okay. Don't scratch it. It's going to get scratched, that. Yeah, that's good enough. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got fucking horses in the sometimes. Huh? Yeah, sometimes. That's good. Putting spark plugs back into car. Oh, he lost the food Sorry. again. Bert in Altona! Ooh, she's good looking, mate. Mm mm mm. Lost it again. Um, Number 69. Oh, I stop saying a bunch of random shit. <laughs> okay, hello. I have. I have manifold with a stud. A oh, stud. But I had to grind off because it wasn't bloody coming off. And I have blowtorch. I will heat up and try to crack it. Hopefully it works and I don't blow myself up. Wish me luck. Say something different, mate. Oh, yeah. It's not very ent entertaining. Oh, either. yeah. So, Aiden's putting the alternator brackets back on with this block that's connecting to a thing that connects to other bits and bobs. But we don't know what they are. It's very awkward and now it's stuck. Yeah, I don't really know what we're doing, but it's back together. We're going to give it a service and get it running, hopefully. I don't know. This is how you do the thing if you're doing the thing. Uh, you know, an extra hand would be helpful, I'll be honest. No, no, no. I'm actually doing something. Oh. Hey. Anyway. Yeah, Can you get the bolts, please? Oh. I mean, the nuts. Yeah. Out with the old, and in with the new. Hello, Hello, little man. I'm taking that oil filter off. Wait, not yet. I'm right under here. 
I don't know how I meant to. I don't know how I meant to get it off, to be honest. What if I do this? Put it in there. Hmm. Camry is a weird one. I will need two hands. Curse me. Please don't lose the plug. It's okay. I'll find it later. Yes. Hey. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Find oh, something that original to say. Oh, oh. That's not good. Not fair. <laughs> oh, that's not a good taste. Do you have the keys? Yes. Okay. Good? Yeah. She drives. Oh. <laughs> yep. Nice. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There is no coolant in there. Bruh, no, there is. <laughs> Alright, we're going to try the first startup of the Camry. Just put some um, water in. Here we go. There you go. Alright. So, we started running. for a little bit uh, and it pissed fuel everywhere. Yep. So, we're just going to start it again. Hopefully, we'll that doesn't happen. It is. It's okay. Just for like a few seconds. Hey! Woo! <laughs> hey! Is that it? <laughs> At least it ran. Ooh! Is that a little bit better? It sounds better, yeah. I think it's going to go. It's running. That's it, it's running. No, no fuel leak. Is it? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing? Check. Oh. You want to come up and eat? We'll see you dude. Nothing leaking, which is a good sign. It still sounds a little funny. But we do have to get a water pump belt. Well, I better turn it off then. Do you want to put it in gear and try and... Oh, okay. No. <laughs> right. Well, that's it. I think we've done it.